Okay, so in this video, I want to talk a bit about Hyper U. But before I talk about that is, I was actually looking for a way or a program, an app, that can actually change my wallpaper and take the colors of the wallpaper and apply it, you know, to everything. So like my, my windows and my text and so on, like Matogen. So in order to do that, you have to use Matogen and SWWW. So SWWW changes the, changes the wallpaper. I think on a timer, I haven't actually used it, but I'm going to use it. So it changes, it runs through all the wallpaper that you have and it changes it as you choose automatically. And then Matogen actually takes, uh, takes a sample of all the colors in your wallpaper and makes a bunch of configuration files and then applies that to all your apps and windows uh, like Waybar or Hyperpanel. You know, it applies to everything on your desktop, making it the same, more or less the same color. So it themes it automatically according to your wallpaper, which is pretty cool. But it's, it's, uh, it is still two apps that you have to uh, manually configure. So I was looking for one app that does both, but apparently that does not exist. Uh, I couldn't find any. So I came across HyperU. So initially I thought, okay, HyperU was an app that I created that does both of this, but HyperU is actually a complete desktop environment. So it's not a completely new thing like Hyperland. It's just, it still sits on top of Hyperland. It was basically created from a bunch of dot files that I put together and that you can install now and actually logged into from the start. So it uses a different configuration file than Hyperland. You know, if you want to fine tune things, but what HyperU is, it's got, it basically, it's got everything installed already. It's got the Waybar, it's got a notifications, it's got the application manager, everything that you need. And it changes your wallpaper, plus it applies the colors to everything automatically. So I couldn't even find a video showing me anything about Hyper, Hyper U. So that's why I'm making this video now. Yeah, so uh, let's install it. So I'm going to open a terminal. I'm going to open my notes. So it's basically just yay-s Hyper U. Or you can install the Git version for newer updates and features. Um, let me just think now. Yeah, let's just... Let's just pretty much install it. Um, yeah, let's just run it. Screw it. So it's basically just yay as hyper U and it will pull in everything that it needs. If there is a problem somewhere, you can actually install all the needed uh, dependencies, Python, GTK, GTK4 layer, and so on. Uh, even Matogen, but I think that's already included. So yeah, let that run, and then we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so it's done. Let me just see, uh, see quickly. All right, so it didn't complain, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna update quickly. So it's good, always good to just update the old system. And then we get, we need to log out and back in again because we need to log in as HyperU and not Hyperland. Okay, let's log in. Uh, Okay, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I installed this. This is Greet UI or Greet D. No, Greeter. Uh, Greet. I don't know. I can't remember this login, but it's uh, this login environment. But um, anyway, so there you would see Hyper U. There is Hyper the normal Hyperland that I was working on. Yeah. So 
we click on hyper eu log in and let's see if this will work it throws out a bunch of errors but it still goes in there you go i just have to set the resolution let me just check quickly so i haven't really done a lot on here but let's see if i can let's go to monitors 1920 save it doesn't actually apply dynamically so let's just log out again that uh log out let's see yeah it should be still on hyper u i just logged i pretty crashed Ooh, restart i think it's because i logged out let's just see and uh, this is the box you will run into i suppose so i have to choose it there there you go full screen so it's basically a bunch of dot files that was put together in a nice package that you can install and have everything all at once so if you don't want to really raise your own hyperland or install apps and all that stuff like like waybar i'm not sure what bar they use is it waybar but any some uh, some panel so if you don't want to install any of that it's got everything in here that you need and it's pretty cool if you click there this is basically all your all all the applications so the application manager like a rofi or wofi and uh you can just click on it it's got a double click on it it's a bit strange so there's my terminal so i don't know the the bind keys are different than hyperland so i have no idea what bind keys keys are on this one so i don't even know how to close this let's try but that was uh super and q which is strange so yeah it's got everything pre-installed which is cool in a way if you don't want to do it yourself so there's internet bluetooth uh this is your is this the information the notification bar so dark and light there's the light mode dark mode this is a nice feature actually very nice there's night light even in there there's your sleep lockout restart shutdown menu and uh, yes your settings menu if you want to go into all of your settings there's appearance dark mode again you can go through all the settings there uh yes your wallpaper so you can i take it you can obviously add your wallpaper it actually takes you to a terminal if you click on that one which is strange anyway i'm not sure how you add wallpaper though you obviously have to add it to that folder and it will start listing it here Strip pretty straightforward like all your inputs keyboard here's your monitors uh power turn off screen sleep mode this is actually very cool right it says apps you should default browser which it's crazy that it's firefox right your lock screen and uh, configs gtk4 gtk3 so this will be applied to the environment so you can see that the colors were applied you know the back the wallpaper colors were applied to the menus and the text and so on so here's hyperland you can actually set gaps in gaps out window border size you can set everything in here which is there's the cursor the beta modern ice this one here's your key binds so this is the key binds inside hyper u so you can set your key binds here there's some info i mean this is very cool actually and you can still fine tune this it's got information system 
yeah you can see your cpu yeah i have a very old uh cpu so don't even look at that <laughs> right memory swap kernel all the necessary info that you need for your system is just a click away and uh, that will actually show the applications that's open which is pretty cool right on this side tray items nothing there i think that's the clipboard so if you've got anything in clipboard it will be there and then this menu again so yeah and then the it's even got a color picker you can actually pick your color right from here and then you can use it it will save it i'm not sure where it saves it but it saves it obviously in probably in pictures or something so yeah if you want something out of the box completed that you don't have to do anything here you go hyper u a complete package that uh, you don't have to do anything you don't have to con uh, go into you don't even have to go into terminal and edit configuration files or nothing it, it will just do it i think if you put if you have wallpaper just put it in your wallpaper folder it will load it and then you can obviously set it where was it now wallpaper yeah it says random so it will just run through it randomly i'm not sure i haven't tested it you're gonna have to figure that out but if you put d a dark wallpaper in here so say with only two colors it will actually apply it to to your menus like this color here it was taken from this picture and so on and so forth so yeah and it still works like like hyperland let's open your i don't know the the bind key so i have to go here let's open kitty let me just see if it if it dwindles because i'm not sure if it dwindles this time shift uh but it's still open now if i cancel it let's take something else rofi okay there's rofi uh let's open something that can actually dwindle brave yeah okay so it still dwindles and you can still drag it around the same as hyperland no problem there z oh. yeah so i mean this is so flippin cool i must say if you don't want to rice or go through all of that just install and you saw how easy it is to install so basically sort of pac-man i think it's on or rather use yay yay dash s uh, and then hyper u that's it installed and then log out and log in as hyper u got all this dot files now and configurations and applications already installed pretty cool okay yeah let's see if it can pop out okay yeah my bind keys i don't know what the bind keys are no idea no idea so yeah, that is Hyper U for you. Uh, tell me what you think about it and if you would use it or would you rice it yourself. So for me personally, I like to I like to rice everything myself, do it myself, tinker and fiddle with it with Hyperland. So I don't see myself using this, but it is pretty cool that you can just straight off install everything. And it's a nice package, I would say. So yeah, like and subscribe if you like this video. And I'll see you later. Good.